musical tire time. The first step to getting stuff done is going to be getting stuff out of the way so I have room to work. The Mustang isn't going to get work done today, so it's got to come out, go outside. Mom's spaghetti can go outside for a little bit too. And I got to clear the lift. This is sort of a project for another day. I picked up the back half of a YJ tub so that hopefully in the future I can actually fix my YJ properly. We'll see if that ever happens, but for now it's got to get off the lift because I got to pull. What am I pulling in? Mazda. The Mazda is coming in. Will this thing run? Oh, it usually squeals really bad on startup. <laughs> That's good. That one's running. Well, this one run. All right, Mustang. Let's see if that one will run. There we go. Believe it or not, that thing's running actually. Not very smooth, but it's running. All right, let's start pulling cars out of here. First order of business is gonna be getting these wheels and tires off of the Mazda. These are the original methods and Maxxis razors. I'm gonna end up putting these tires on Louis Vuitton because I think they're going to work out really well. All right, let's get this thing racked up and we will swap out. Swap, swap, move stuff around. Man, look how hammered this thing is. I keep looking at that and going, dang, I should work on this thing. I've got other body panels up here. I've got other doors over there. Like, I've got enough parts to try and make this thing kind of nice again. Maybe we'll get to that this winter. We'll see. Look at that group. Dang, this thing moves. Ah, this, is, this truck is so rad. This truck is awesome. All right, new impact. This thing is pretty rad, way lighter than the old earthquake I had. I had one of those Harbor Freight guns from like 15 years ago at least, and it lasted forever. It worked pretty good. It was super heavy, um, but it always worked all right. So it finally died. I had to get rid of it the other day, so I went and picked up that new composite buddy, and it's way nicer than the old one was. God, look at this truck. This truck is awesome. I'm gonna get these tires off. It's musical tire time. These Mickey Thompsons are going on the Mazda. They're going to be a good off-road tire all winter long. The Maxxis Razors that were on the Mazda are going to go on the Ford uh, on Louis Vuitton. So the Maxxis Razors are pretty bitchin' tire for like highway use and all-around driving use. 
Uh, the Patagonias that are on there are gonna get sold to a friend of mine that lives down in Arizona. So I just gotta like shuffle everything around and we will have the right tires on the right rigs and something sold hopefully before too long. These wheels and tires were put on this rig during every day episode where I took, we went wheeling in Colorado, Fred and I did. He took Clampy and I took Maz Grande. These were like my new wheels and tires for that trip. And I had just done the rear suspension also. So that was probably the best this truck's ever worked was, was wheeling on that trip. I really like the offset on these wheels and the look of them. And the tires worked amazing. So pretty stoked to get these things back on here. We'll get this thing put back on the ground and swap out the spare. Pull this thing out and park it. Pull the old truck in here, Louis Vuitton, so we can start start on that process. I don't know if I'm gonna get very far tonight. It's pretty late and I'm, uh, I gotta be at work in the morning. So we'll see where we get. But dang, this truck is cool. This is like the pride of the fleet right here. I love this truck. This truck is awesome. This truck is also awesome, but it's way bigger than the other one. Giant truck, squeaky brakes. All right. Oh no. These tires are ready to start breaking down. I pulled the valve cores out so they're all flat. Now I can start taking the beadlock rings off. There we go. All right, let's go hook up the tire machine. Everything is a mess. This is really bad. All right, let's bust these things down. Definitely not there yet. I'm gonna try and get this to do its thing without damaging the tire. Should be there. What up, dirt heads? It's Monday night. I didn't get any tires swapped around yesterday. You wanna know why? I was having a bunch of problems with my tire machine being too low to where it wasn't pushing on the wheel in the right spot. It was like, rather than pushing here, it's like pushing way down here. So we are going to make a little bit of a lift kit for the tire machine. I've got some three by six square tube or rectangle tube over here that I'm starting to cut and basically gonna make some like lift blocks that'll bolt on underneath this thing and space this up six more inches. So hopefully that thing fits or hits the tire where it's supposed to. All right, let's get these things made. Sometimes you gotta work on the, on the shop before you can work on the trucks. Go ahead and just sand all the little razor edges off of this thing. Those will be the spacer that goes underneath the tire machine. That'll lift it up. I didn't cut it super square because the tire machine already tries to like tip over to one side. So I left this side an extra like two inches long on the bottom. So that hopefully it's less likely to tip over. Um, 
Next thing I gotta do is just drill some holes. Sweet, one lift block made. I'll bust out the other one real quick. Now we just gotta figure out how to get this dang tire machine off the ground. It is super heavy. Let me grab the floor jack and pry bars. How are we gonna do this? Look at that. Rotate that. And then maybe just jack up off the plate. Not what I want to do, but we'll see if it gets weird. That's pretty sketchy. All right, let's see if this thing works. There it is. Come on. Come on. I think we're good. I think we're going to be good. Oh yeah, it's past the, it's past the bead. Yes. Yeah. Let me see your ball. It's your ball. Let me see your ball. Hazel. Let me see your ball. Oh, I got it. I got it. I gotta go to work. Hazel, I can't just play. I can't just play all the time. Love you. Oh, jeez. Love you. Good girl. I'm back in the shop, and it is like a week later, I think. Check this out. Truck is sitting here. Nothing's been done. Mom's spaghetti is on the lift. I was doing some like little videos for Skyjacker suspension, swapping in actually curry Johnny joints um, or rock jock Johnny joints, but swapping in all those to get rid of the heim joints in this, uh, in the four link on this thing. It was super clunky, like really bad clunky. And I'm swapping out the heims for Johnny joints. So this thing should be smooth sailing now. Um, let's get back to working on these tires. Check this out. And, uh, the lift kit on the tire machine's working really good. So I got all the Maxis off. I got one of the Milestars off and swapped over to this tire. So I guess the next step is gonna be uh, pulling these off. I'll probably just pull them off one at a time so I don't have to use the lift and uh, we'll swap out those Milestars for the Maxis. All kinds of junk going on in here. Oh. Very loud. Where's my wheel lock key? Let's go get this tire swapped. Uh. Cool. All right, I wanna throw this on. This direction. And go. Tire machine kind of jacked these things up. Ah. Let me go grab my hardware and beadlock rings. Good to go there. All right, tear this thing up. Oh. All right. Dog. My dog heard something cool, apparently. Junkyard down the road has a Ford Pinto with an eight inch in it. 
So we're going down to the junkyard to see if we can get a Ford Pinto 8 inch before the sun goes down. I only got an hour, they close early, it's like winter time hours, so I've got to go hustle this out and see if I can track down the perfect rear axle for my Mustang too. Check this beauty out. <laughs> Dang, this thing is hammered. Yeah, no, no it's not. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is the coveted 8 inch four lug rear end and this is four on four and a quarter not four on four and a half so this thing should be like ideal for going in my junker we're gonna try and bust these u-bolts off and drag this thing out of here hopefully it goes smooth there it is dang radical I'm still so bad at all this camera and audio stuff but we're working through it things are getting good like a year and a half later and I'm still making videos and they seem to be doing all right and having fun with it so that's cool anyways I am driving the truck and it is it is definitely better on these tires um, they still have a little bit of a hop to them like right now I'm getting a little bit of tire shake in the front end speedometer is way off but I'm doing probably about 58 miles an hour it actually smooths out really good at like 65 so I think we're doing all right on tires I'm excited to put some miles on these and start scrubbing them down and using them they've been parked for so long just sitting on my Mazda because that thing doesn't get driven a whole lot so it's cool to actually put some miles on them and let you guys know what I really think of them it's hard to give like an honest tire test when you just have them on a wheel and rig and you're only you're only using them like once every other month you know so um truck is doing good there's a whole pile of things i want to redo on it and update and uh i wanted to kind of go over that i know quite a few of you have asked like if i could do an overview of what i would change about this truck um there's a whole pile of things that I want to change and do different. Um, the main thing I want to do is undo the cap being welded to the body. I want to go back in, cut, cut loose the rock sliders, cut loose the cage to the body stuff, and take my time and do... Uh, do actual like rubber mounts or urethane mounts to the for the cage to the body. The other thing I want to do is get rid of these seat belts. I want to put a stock style seat belt in, or even if it's not a stock seat belt, something that um, like is a little easy, not as bulky. I don't necessarily need these big pads on here. I need to readjust these things so they're down a little bit lower and this part right here with them like flopping off your shoulders all the time is really lame and that's because the seats don't have like the slots through the headrest for the seat belts to come through so that part really is a bummer just because it's uh like i don't wear them as often as i should and it's because they're kind of a pain in the butt so that's a that's a pretty big ticket item that i want to change and that'll come with doing all the uh roll cage and rock slider mods i'll modify the cage enough to like get it to where the seat belts are working right or i can put stock seat belts back in it so that's kind of it i mean i would really like to put carpet back in here and kind of finish some of that stuff i would also like to put a headliner back in it or at least uh make some panels that i can put up there to kind of finish the roof off a little more and get some like sound deadener and heat insulation stuff going on up here so i do have really big plans for what to do with the bed i see everybody always comments just bob the bed bob the bed well i don't want to bob the bed i don't like the way long beds look bobbed um, i love the way a short bed looks that's bobbed but a long bed that's bobbed kind of looks like a corgi it's like got this really long body and then like this little short overhang in the back so i have an idea of what I really want to do on the back of this and it's gonna be a huge project uh, hopefully if things go well I can get that all sorted out and under control and happen it uh, at some point this winter um, it would be really great if I could like have the, uh, the the roads really icy sorry I'm, like trying not to try not to slide off the road um, 
I'd really like to try and have the bed sorted out in the spring um, because I think it would be a really cool, really cool new look for the truck. So keep an eye out for that. Other than that, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna park this rig. It's gonna, um, it's gonna get some daily driver duties. And hopefully, when it starts snowing and we start doing a little bit of snow wheeling runs, I can get it. I can test out that rooftop tent and do an overnight trip camping out out of this thing. So I think that's it for this dirt headshot. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for putting up with all my nonsense with the bad audio and the bad camera work and all that. It'll get better eventually. It has to. It can't get any worse. All right, peace out. That's it for this dirt headshot.